it is day eight of elk season and Jorgen showed up tonight and him and James and Jamie are going out and they're gonna do a little uh, scouting slash hunting tonight and I am gonna go check a camera and then go scout a different area uh, that a herd showed up in recently and see if uh, there's any big boys in there but it should be good it's been pretty crazy so far uh, through yesterday seven days in with eight bulls down and then uh, Eric is showing up tomorrow to be my hunter and I think Jeremy might come up and help too so it's gonna be good I mean they're still fairly active they're they've definitely quieted down but that's pretty normal for this time of year so nothing crazy we just kind of have to uh, figure out their new uh, hiding places because they're going a little deeper they're hiding a little harder moving a little later talking a little less so it's been good so far and I think it will uh, continue to be good all the way through October I mean the late ester cycle will come eventually too so if we run into any struggles we'll figure it out as we go but I'm gonna hang up and uh, hopefully we can put our eyes on some elk tonight and kind of uh, go from there. So, we'll see you out there. Pretty quiet scouting night. It's been quiet, but yesterday was good. And tomorrow's gonna be good, I just have this feeling, so. It can all change overnight. Hopefully they're screaming. We'll see you in the morning. Go for a little hike and get on this glassy knob and 
see if I can put my eyes on something. Heard quite a few bugles this morning though, so that's promising. There's a big rock face right there, so I'm just gonna try to get up high there so I can see and listen for a while and hopefully turn something up to go after tonight. single file and buy it about 150 yards pretty good size herd has to be probably 30 or more that I've seen so fun little morning anyhow scouting I snuck back out of there. There was a herd of at least 30. I'm not sure there there was four or five different small bulls, but I'm sure there was quite a few more that I didn't see. But they they were bedding. Some of them were kind of milling into the trees. Some of them bedded kind of in the open. So there's a chance I might go back there tonight uh, when Eric gets here and get up on the ridge and kind of come in from the other side the wind's supposed to switch it should be perfect tonight i would guess they'd feed across that top and uh, head down into the meadow again tonight so maybe it's worth a shot maybe there's something bigger in there i don't know uh, probably head back to the cabin and make a game plan for tonight well eric and kevin are here and uh, we're gonna head out for the evening hunt it's about three o'clock right now so We'll get set up and sit for a couple hours, but should be fun. What do you think, Kevin? Putting you on the spot. <laughs> We're ready to go and excited. <laughs> Gonna have a good hunt, great time with Buckstorm, and uh, we're looking forward to this. It's gonna be fun. And the man with the tag is over there getting his gun ready. So we'll introduce him in a minute. You ready to do this? Let's go get a ball. Let's do it. Easy peasy, right? Yep, easy peasy, nothing to it. You look like a city <laughs> slicker. I know, I know, I know I do. You look like you're ready to pack some quarters out. Yeah, you know, I kind of am a city slicker though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sense, there's right? nothing wrong with that. Uh, good. Well, we're gonna see if we can uh, go find a big bull tonight. So we'll see you out there. We are headed in for the evening, and of course, I was contemplating parking further down the road, and a big bull ran across the road right in front of us. He had seven, I'm almost positive, on his right side. But, good start to the evening, they kind of went up in this thick stuff so they could easily come back out tonight. So we're going to go get in position, and... Uh, See what happens. You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do it.
I was getting ready to stop him. I couldn't, you had a different window than me, but I was hoping he'd walk out to the left and stop. But. I brought this little guy with today because he, he's got a lower center of gravity for packing meat. I mean, we're killing something today. Huh? I mean, we're killing something today. Yeah. You can get on board with that. All right, let's do it. It is day. Day three. Day two of their hunt. Sorry, actually, like day one point five. So, hopefully, uh, we can get back in them. We were in them last night. We're gonna go back and uh, get on them this morning. So, we'll see you out there. ridge and see if we can get one to answer. There was some elk in here a couple days ago. So. be seeing more elk today if they didn't have such a piss poor hunting guide. I brought Jeremy with thinking maybe he'd come through. They're a little quieter today but that just means they'll have more energy tonight right? We'll find them. Well 
we're headed out tonight for the evening hunt and uh, we lost the little man and usually when he leaves something good happens so I guess we'll see if that holds true or not but we got a pretty good drive to where we're going we're gonna go back in the area we were last night and uh, maybe get a little redemption so good luck man go time Let's do it. right Here do we go. it Tonight's the night. Well, we are headed back out for the evening. It is, uh, yes, I'm still bald. Um, the 11th, we got a massive front coming in. It's supposed to snow a foot tonight into tomorrow. Uh, so this is kind of our last uh, hoorah for this round and then we'll get back out in like 10 days if we don't have any luck. But we're gonna go back where we were yesterday morning and there was a herd uh, bedded way up on this big ridge we're just gonna see if we can locate them before dark and maybe make a move or climb up there might start raining on us who knows we're gonna be higher there could even start snowing but it's gonna be an adventure and uh, sometimes it just comes down to the wire like this so we're gonna see if we can get it done we're heading in we got about 45 minutes till dark there's a bull at the guzzler with a bunch of cows Nice one too, we're gonna try to kill him. Make sure. 
sure it's a good prop tight shot. shot if he turns You dropped him. You dropped him. He's a stud. <laughs> you see how I was shooting? You I see how I was shooting? Yeah, dude. That was epic. I was hoping you had a solid rest. Dude, he's a stud, I'm dude. shaking. I'm shaking. He's a stud. I think he's dead, buddy. You saw him? Yeah, he's laying right there. Is he over here? He's right here. You'll see him, just keep going. Right at that lock. Dude, Travis. You did it, buddy. Travis. You did it, buddy. You did it. <laughs> that was a heck of a shot. Give me a hug. Give 10 minutes hug. left of legal. Dude, that's He's a my bull. nice bull, too. That's my boy. Oh my gosh, he's huge. We're having a party tonight. Look at that. That's her boy, guys. We worked, we worked for him. Absolute blast, I'm shaking. Never experienced anything like it. That's an awesome bull, man. Big old flyer front. Wow. I have service, I gotta send a photo to my dad. Yep. <laughs> I'm guessing he heard the old gunshot down at the pickup. He heard the old gunshot. <laughs> you better call him. I promise you I was going to shoot the smaller guy. I know. <laughs> I was going to. I know. Well, I wasn't going to tell you no, but I'm like, we got to look. And he was there, and I was about to tell you to, and I look over, oh. and he was nudging that cow. And I'm like, there he is, but I didn't know if he was ever going to turn. Gosh. It's October 11th. I probably hunted for a total of seven days, and I didn't want to come out in nine days. Yep. I wanted to be done. <laughs> and you done it. God, he's cool. Got a bowl, Dad. Oh man, guys. 
I heard a shot. I'm going, eh. He anchored him. He dropped him. I'm happy we no. can do it, bud. Good job, man. Good, Good job. Good job. Oh, Woo! We That's great. We did it. Good what job, it. Travis. <laughs> You're the man. Oh my You're god. Hey, you made a heck of a shot. I didn't do I didn't do that part. Oh. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Eric, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? Wow. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Well, we just got done with a little photo session and uh, we're gonna get busy before the storm comes, but congrats, Eric. Thanks, Travis. Total riot. It was Man. an emotional riot. It was definitely the ups and downs of elk hunting at its finest, and it, the last, the witching hour, or whatever you want to call it, the last 10 minutes, we ran down here to get a follow-up shot, and he was already dead, and uh, just worked out great. So we're going to get busy. A lot of fun. I'm glad I was part of it. Eric's waited 20 years for this opportunity. Yep, it's good stuff right there. I'm glad you didn't shoot that little five point. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. What a ride. It is raining. We got him all cut up. We're going to make our first trip. So we got some weight on the packs other than Jeremy. And then we'll make one more load. You made here. it sound like I'm not doing anything. Oh, no. <laughs> I just got to finish my bush light first. Here. So Can you hold that? Sure. I don't want to lose it because it's not mine. Yeah, it's mine. I'll take it. But we're going to get going. So. It's raining, we're wet, everything's wet. We are ready. Let's do it. All right. Never experienced anything like it. That's an awesome bull, man. Well, uh, I haven't been videoing because we've been fighting the weather a little bit and trying to get out of here before we get a foot of snow. But Jorgen also shot a bull last night. They went and got him this morning, got him cut up, got him taken care of, awesome bull. Uh, it was pouring rain on them all morning, so no video there, but that's okay. Uh, been a fun dang trip. Uh, really, really fortunate. Went 100% at both our camps. Uh, 10 bulls down, so we're going to finish packing up and uh, hit the road. It's been real. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our elk camp series this year. And uh, now it might be time to start chasing some deer, or maybe we're still elk hunting. You never know. I'm sure we'll find a way to elk hunt some more too. But we're getting out of here. It's been fun. Please leave us a comment if you enjoyed this series. Uh, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. I know I don't say it very much, but it does really help us out a lot. So please comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the things. We appreciate you. Uh, I'm gonna hit the road. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.